Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Monday, August 15th. President Obama took his case for building the economy and creating jobs on the road. First stop on his three-day bus trip, a town hall meeting in Cannon, Minnesota. Obama and his road crew are likely to hear lots of criticism from Americans frustrated about slow economic growth and Washington's inability to come up with effective answers. The president's tour also takes him to Iowa, where Michelle Bachman was the winner of the weekend's Republican presidential straw poll, and then on to Illinois. The Iowa straw poll results brought more than a surprise win for Bachman. A third-place finish caused former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty to withdraw from the race. Pawlenty now finds himself out of politics for the first time in 20 years. He's widely expected to seek office again, with many speculating it will be for the Senate in 2012 or 2014. Overseas, the trial of ousted Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak is no longer must-see TV. That's because the judge in the case ordered a halt in the trial's live broadcast. What was described as a media circus broke out in the opening days of the trial, with lawyers pushing and shoving to get on camera. The judge said stopping the telecast was done to protect the public interest. He also adjourned the trial until September. And embattled Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi could be losing another key staff member, Deputy Interior Minister Marouk Abdallah flew to Cairo on a private plane along with nine members of his family. Egypt's state newspaper said Abdallah was preparing to defect. His arrival comes as rebels captured two key towns near the Libyan capital of Tripoli, further isolating Gaddafi, whom they're trying to drive from power. That's your political roundup for Monday, August 15th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day. Thank you.